Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. The 1960s were the heyday of psychedelic music posters. Due to the popularity of the tutorial I did for this poster, I'll show you how to make another using different techniques. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Let's make the background black. One way to do this is to press Shift and F5. Then choose black. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a font. I'm using Victor Moscoso, which I provided a link to if you'd like to use it. The link is located in the video's description or project files. Choose a size of 30 points, crisp, left alignment, and white for the color. Click on your document and type out the top line of your text. Click on your Move tool to reposition it just inside the top left corner. We want to enlarge the line of text to the right edge of your document. To do this, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac. Go to the lower right corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift as you drag it to the right of your document. Then press Enter or Return. Open back up your Type tool and type out your second line of text. Click on your Move tool to reposition it to the lower left of your top line. Open your Transform tool again and drag the lower right corner to the right of your document. Continue to add text until your poster is filled from end to end. Let's consolidate all the text layers into a folder. To do this, shift-click on the bottom text layer to highlight all the text layers and press Ctrl or Command G. We'll name the folder Text. Make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter and Liquify. I'll make the brush size 700. You may want to use a different amount if your document size and resolution differs from this one. Click on the Bloat tool, go to the center of your image, and press and hold down your cursor until you have a large circular shape in the middle. To accept it, click OK. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag out a circular selection approximately the size of the circle. We'll fill the selection with black. If your foreground color isn't black, click on the small overlapping box icon. Press Alt Delete on a PC or Option Delete on a Mac. Delete the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Press V to open your Move tool to reposition it to cover most of the extraneous text in the circle that's too illegible to read. Control click or Command click on the thumbnail to open back up its selection and go to Select and Save Selection. Then click OK. Open your Pencil tool and make the size 50 pixels with a hardness of 100%. Press Z to open your Zoom tool and drag across an area of the circle to zoom in closer. To move your image in the window, press and hold the space bar and move your image. To reduce the size of your pencil, press the left bracket key on your keyboard. Now draw over the letters within the circle that's too hard to read. Press and hold the space bar and move it to see more of your image.
To fit it back onto your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. We'll merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command-E. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Open your Gradient tool and click on the Gradient bar to open the Gradient Editor. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. Pick a color for one end of the gradient. Click OK and click on the lower right stop and pick another color. Close the gradient windows and choose a gradient type. For this example, I'll choose the linear gradient, but feel free to experiment with all of them. For this gradient, I'll go to the top middle of my document and press and hold shift as I drag down to the bottom and then release. Change your blend mode to exclusion. To make the colors more vibrant, click on the adjustment layer button and choose vibrance. Click on the clip to layer button to clip this adjustment layer so it affects only the one layer beneath it. Slide the vibrance all the way to the right. Open a photo you'd like to place into the poster. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. To get it into your poster document, press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the poster. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto your image and then release. If your photo is clipping like the adjustment layer, press Ctrl Alt G on a PC or Command Option G on a Mac to unclip it. Open your channels panel and Ctrl click or Command click on the circle to make a selection of its shape. Open back up your layers panel and click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the photo. Click off the chain link. This allows us to resize or move either layer independently of the other. Click on your photo to make it active and open your transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. Click inside the transform to move it. Resize and position the photo until it fits comfortably inside the circle. Then press Enter or Return. Fit your document back onto your screen. Make your adjustment layer active and Shift-click on the gradient to highlight it as well. Make a copy of the two layers and drag the photo below the copies. Make the top adjustment layer active and click on the Clip to Layer button to unclip it. Make the gradient copy active and this time clip it to the photo using the same keystrokes as before. Go to Edit, Transform and flip vertical. Let's add a paper texture to the poster. First, we need to make a composite snapshot. Make the top layer active and press Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open your texture folder and click Texturizer. The texture is sandstone, the scaling is 50%, the relief is 4, and the light is from the top. Then click OK. To brighten your entire poster, invoke Auto Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift L. To shift the overall colors of your poster and do it non-destructively, click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue Saturation. Slide the hue to the right or left to create a myriad of color shifts. Have fun recreating an authentic looking 1960s psychedelic music poster. 
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.